Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, I'm going to create a page in my book of shadows, a chart of 13 witches' runes. Let's learn the meanings of each rune as we go. Let's do some magical crafting. If you'd like to download a PDF of this grimoire page, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I'll continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. When I design a page in my Book of Shadows, I start with a pencil sketch. Then I go over it with waterproof ink and erase my pencil lines. And finally, I go back in with watercolor paint to add color and backgrounds. In this case, I divided my page into 13 sections, one for each rune, reserving the extra space at the top for the title and a short paragraph of instruction. As I color and illustrate this grimoire page, let's learn the rune meanings together. I'll leave links below to the sites where you can find the meanings of witches' runes. Those are the source for the information in this video. Each rune has a positive or negative connotation. If you're casting for a yes or no question, you can get a sense of the answer. A positive rune is a yes answer. A negative rune is a no. But these answers can be affected by the position of the other runes near them in a reading. So it's important to use your intuition when interpreting your throw. A positive rune, the sun represents new beginnings or an improvement in a situation. Other meanings include wealth, an award received, and clarity, the beginning of something new, making good decisions, having good health, and vitality or healing. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words money, new directions, and achievement. A negative rune, the moon with its receptive feminine power, represents more subtle long-term change emotional and transitional influences look beyond the surface. There may be much secrecy and mystery going on. The moon can be a motherly nurturing influence who gives advice that simply must be followed. Long-term changes? Transition. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words deep wisdom, memory, and the old ways. A positive rune, flight, represents communication, news, and travel being in store. Important documents may be signed. Things are moving fast, so you'd better hit the ground running. Flight signifies movement, communications, and information. Travel of all kinds. Social media, networking, news, word of mouth. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words communication, freedom, and travel. A positive rune brings represents binding agreements, contracts, written or verbal, official or social. It's the work we do together to achieve a common goal. Rings tells us that we're not alone. Support is there for us. You can't do it alone, so form the right and lasting alliances. There may be a business partnership, a marriage, or other team formation. Seek out a partnership if none exists in the matter at hand. The rings represent circumstances that connect people and combining different elements to create something new. Coming in contact with people that we can share something with. Interest groups. For my book of shadows page, I've chosen the words agreements, contracts, and marriage. A negative rune, romance indicates unconditional love and connection with another is present. The rings signify a passion for something, whether a sexual attraction or love. You may begin a new project. There is raw, magnetic attraction that draws people together. It might indicate that passion has turned into obsession. When you see the rings, sex and romance are afoot. This rune signifies deep emotional connections, a soulmate, harmony in a relationship, or being in love with someone who loves you back. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words desire, fertility, and luck. A 
negative rune, woman reflects nurturing, healing, and grace. It also depicts everything related to women. It reflects fertility and manifestation, not only of a person, but of a project or an idea as well. This rune represents the passive, receptive energies that are often categorized as feminine. The rune can also represent a literal woman pertaining to the situation. Other feminine characteristics include nurturing, creativity, the birth of something new, and cleansing energy, being a healer, the home, caring for someone, being a mother. From my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words rejuvenation, healing, and psychic energy. A positive rune, man represents any male person or characteristic typically attributed to men. Its energy is proactive and engaging. The man rune takes control of the situation at hand. This rune represents the active, dynamic energies often associated with masculinity. Actions may be decisive, but reckless. The rune represents a quick and just outcome and sometimes has an element of surprise. Something new may be initiated. Traditional male characteristics, being a father, protecting loved ones, being a provider, being empowered, and having confidence. From my book of shadows, I've chosen the words force, strength, and energy. A negative rune, crossroads indicates a choice is needed or perhaps you or someone else is working at cross purposes with you. It suggests that sabotage may be occurring, particularly of the self-sabotage variety. Crossroads also embodies energy expanding in all directions with self in the center. Expanded awareness is flowing. Crossroads could mean that the path is blocked by obstacles that can only be overcome by changing direction. Be flexible, but know that sacrifices must be made. Things may take longer than expected. This room tells you to choose your battles. There are many ways to reach the same place. It can appear when you're making a major life decision and can signify not knowing what to do next, feeling stuck, or being afraid of moving forward. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words chores, stasis, and discipline. A positive rune, the star reflects hope and supports risk-taking motivated by faith. The star indicates that a positive outcome is in store. A hope, a wish, or a long-term dream that you want to make into reality. This is a lofty goal, and it's okay to dream big and have high expectations. Even when expectations are unreasonable, there may be a hidden manifestation of at least one version of the original goal. The star can represent a gift or a windfall, as well as a guiding light. A green light to go after what you want. It could signify your life purpose. Look at the runes closest to the star for clues. The star rune signifies being an inspiration for others, being yourself, being accepted for who you really are, and freedom. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words dream, hope, and transform. A negative rune, waves represents fluidity of motion. Nothing is stable and transformation is happening now. It reflects the emotional turbulence within and the need for alignment with source. It instructs us to wait for clarity before proceeding. Things are unclear, so a time of reflection is needed to see the situation for what it truly is. There may be a liar in your life or somebody who's completely delusional. Great spiritual forces of mystery are at work, and so you may feel pushed and pulled by these powerful energies. Misunderstandings become emotional. Great art can come from great angst. Spirits and ancestors may be influencing you. This rune represents being moved, a deep connection to the spiritual world, a feeling of being out of control, insecurities, the need to connect your life and being to the flow, or being overwhelmed. For my Book of Shadows page, I have chosen the words intuition, secrets, and creativity. A positive rune, harvest indicates abundance and prosperity is at hand. Hard work has paid off and the harvest is in. 
The harvest rune represents the fruition of a job well done. There is abundant wealth, family happiness, and reaching the next level of development in the situation is at hand. All your hard work will be mightily rewarded. Make no mistake though, that good things take time to develop. Don't rush ahead foolishly or slack off. When the harvest rune appears, it indicates the blessings of investing in yourself, signifying rewards, seeing the fruit of your labor, and providing for yourself. This rune can mean self-employment or represent education. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words completion, increase, and luck. A negative rune, the scythe indicates a bond is breaking or has broken. It represents change, sudden ending. Warning, there is danger ahead. Slow down and be cautious about your progression forward on this path. You may need to cut out negativity and get rid of people and things that no longer serve you. There may be a parting of ways from what you once knew, such as a breakup or being fired from a job. Avoid risky choices and sabotaging a good thing. You may have an enemy nearby. The scythe indicates sudden changes and endings, making a final decision, completing something, walking away from something or someone, and danger. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words cutting, change, and death. A positive rune, the eye is about awakening and vision. It represents self. You must be independent and take the time to yourself to know what you truly want and need. This rune assures you that you can see through any malicious plans. This rune signifies lifting of the veil and psychic abilities. It also represents visual activities, witnessing, seeing the unseen, or focusing on something. Positioning can be important with this rune. Look at the runes near the eye for clarity. For my Book of Shadows page, I've chosen the words watching, awareness, and spellbinding. If you're interested in learning how to make a set of witches' runes, please check out the video I made on how to craft your own runes. At the end of that video, I cast the runes and review their meanings. I'd love your interpretation of my first cast. As a reminder, if you'd like to download a PDF of this grimoire page, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I'll continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel.